Welcome back to A Current Affair. The Bible says that while Jesus converted the masses, he also rubbed shoulders with villains, thieves, and courtesans. So a couple of young Christian ministers recently thought to themselves, hey, if it's good for Jesus, what the heck? They decided the only way to defeat the forces of the X-rated world was to join them. And as our Tina Malave discovered, they certainly ruffled a few Christian feathers. On the surface, Jackson, Michigan looks like any other small Midwestern town. Plenty of fast food joints, an old time movie theater, a quaint little library, the country's largest penitentiary, and churches of just about every denomination. All in all, a perfect place to hold Porn Weekend? I saw that billboard and I said to my son, first I said, what is it? Then I said, don't look. <laughs> Oh, the trouble those billboards caused. Three of them put up around town. And boy, did that tick off some parents. After all, you try telling the kids what those signs mean. Kids walk by this on a daily basis. It's very close to a school. They come home, they ask questions. Mom, why are they having a porn party? This group of outraged citizens banded together, protested, and eventually got those big bad billboards pulled down. But that's only half the story. Inviting people to a church for, quote, a porn weekend, I understand what they were trying to do. They totally went around the wrong way doing it. Yep, porn weekend promoted by a church, the West Winds Church. Pastor John Volt says there's a method to his madness. What is your church doing uh, to combat the problem of pornography? Is there a better way that we can do this? We didn't get too many answers. The church called in Craig Gross, the pastor of XXXChurch.com, an online congregation that preaches against the evils of sleaze and filth, going so far as to encourage followers to throw out their satellite dishes and shut off the internet. Even if you just break one of the commandments, you're as guilty as breaking them all. Gross and his porn-busting pals take their battle straight into the belly of the beast, attending porno conventions to spread the word of the Lord, as seen in this film called Missionary Positions. Sometimes it's a lonely job. We realize XXXChurch.com, the number one Christian porn site, um, doesn't make sense to everybody, but it draws you in and gets you to realize, um, I gotta check this thing out. While theirs is an online church, Gross and his partners figure the best way to combat porn is to go out and get their hands dirty. Jesus didn't just stay in one location. He was always out mixing it up with the people, hanging out with the sinners, hanging out with, with people, and that's how he delivered his message. We even made a postcard that says Jesus loves porn stars. Postcards are not the only unusual marketing tool the pastors have used. They've produced a series of cautionary commercials directed at young people, featuring a character called Pete the Puppet. Listen, kids, have you gone in your daddy's closet and found a bunch of magazines with naked mommies in them? Does this make you feel yucky inside? All right, so the I real twist to this? The commercials were produced and filmed by Jimmy D, who actually is an X-rated movie director. Jimmy D says he does this work for free because he too has seen the dark side. I wish I could delete files, I mean, in my head because I've seen things that I wish I didn't see and I've done things in this business I wish I didn't do. In spite of the fact that Gross uses rather unorthodox methods to get his message across, the problem back in Jackson, Michigan is as plain as the naked truth. Putting three billboards up that say Porn Weekend um, kind of blows the radar, you know. But guess what? Even after those scandalous billboards came down, Porn Weekend drew a full house and rave reviews. I think it's great. I like their approach. I really dig what they're doing and everything. It's really good stuff. I really uh, thought it was good and I think he's right on and I think it's admirable that they're taking this on. Hey, sex sells, even in religion. You certainly can't blame them for trying to do something good, right? I think Jesus would definitely approve. All right.